Okay, good afternoon students. Today I will teach review lesson for 11th grade buildings and design. Okay, okay please try put the words in the correct column. Okay, these words. In these three columns, right? Okay, please try. So easy one. Okay, parts of the building, shade, balcony, a roof, basement, an elevator, an entrance, a wall, a window pane, a column. Construction materials, bricks, metal, concrete, granite, stone, wood, glass. Ob objects outside of the building, a shade, a playground, an anting, a garage. A road because this one is review lesson of unit four. Okay. What material is it made of? It's made of metal. Next, what is this on the picture two? It's an elevator. What material is it made of? It's made of steel next picture what is this it's an antenna what material is it made of it's made of copper okay you will copy these new words on your notebooks now let's see next pictures what is this on the picture first it's a window pane what material is it made of it's made of glass next what is this on the picture two it's a basement what material is it made of it's made of concrete next picture what is this it's a shade what material is it made of it's made of fabric okay you will copy these new words on your copy books next pictures what is this on the picture one it's a column what material is it made of it's made of stone next what is this it's a playground what material is it made of it's made of plastic next what is this on the picture three it's a road what material is it made of it's made of concrete okay you will copy them next what is this on the picture one it's a, an entrance what material is it made of it's made of concrete and bricks next what is this a wall what material is it made of it's made of bricks next what is this on the picture three it's a garage what material is it made of it's made of steel okay complete uh, the sentence with the parts of the building using all these words these are parts of the buildings you know that a wall an entrance basement, an elevator, a garage, a shade, a roof, a column. Okay, please, my students trying to do this. Okay, first one, of course, basement. A ba basement is above the building, which is below ground level. A garage is built for housing vehicles. A gate of entering is called an entrance. A wall is a brick or steel structure that divides the area. A shade is on the outside of the building. Structure that covers upper side of the building is good and up. Number seven, this one is machine. Carries people up and down inside buildings. Okay, an elevator. Number eight, okay, upright pillar or post. 
that supports a roof or a beam, or they can be poorly decorated. It means like a column. See this one, active sentence and passive sentence. Active sentence, Carl sell the wooden house. Okay, Carl is subject, the wooden house is object. Okay, but in passive sentence, we have to change this. Instead of the subject, we have to use object. The wooden house, okay, is sold. Is sold is like passive present. Okay, okay, you have to this focus on, right? Complete the sentence, use the construction material once only, okay? They are wooden houses. The houses are made of wood. These are glass windows, okay? How do we change this, okay? Windows are made of glass, okay? Roads, what materials, construction materials we can use? They are concrete roots. The roots are made of concrete. Okay, last one is column. Column or column. They are granite columns. The columns are made of granite. Okay, number five. Walls. Okay, what materials we can use this? They are brick walls. The walls are made of bricks. That's good. Okay, courage. They are stone guards. The guards are made of stone. So easy one, okay? We have to know. In the passive voice in the present tense, use is or are plus the past participle. We often use the present tense passive for processes. For example, first the apples are picked, then they are cleaned, and finally, they're packed and shipped to the market. We also use the present tense passive voice for general thoughts, opinions, and beliefs. For example, New York is considered the most diverse city in the U.S. It is believed that Amelia Earhart's plane crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Hungarian is seen as one of the world's most difficult languages to learn. Skin cancers are thought to be caused by excessive exposure to the sun. To form the passive voice in the past tense, use was or were plus the past participle. We often use the passive voice in the past tense for events in history. For example, George Washington was elected president in 1788. As well as crimes and accidents. For example, Two people were killed in a drive-by shooting on Friday night. Ten children were injured when part of the school roof collapsed. As well as in many other situations when the person who did the action is unknown or unimportant. Now let's practice. You will change the sentences from the active into the passive. You can omit the agent where it can be omitted. Now let's check answers. 1. Miss Jenna invited me to dinner. I was invented to dinner by Miss Jenna. 2. Thomas Edison invented the phonograph. Phonograph was invented by Thomas Edison. 3. Someone stole my car yesterday. My car was stolen yesterday. 4. They heard her shouting. She was heard shouting. 5. Shakespeare wrote Hamlet. Hamlet was written by Shakespeare.
students do this online exercise and send to me. You can take photos or write in your notebook, okay? Okay, and memorize all words at home. And do exercise 14, unit 4. Bye, my students. Good luck.